I had to put this on here because I read it earlier, and I just, I was floored. Johnny Depp has, <laughs> he alleges that his ex-wife um, defecated in their bed. I don't a, know that he as, alleges. I think she admitted to it and said it was a prank. At, well, okay, so let, let's go to the court proceedings, okay? This is what he said, and I didn't even know how to, like, tackle this. No, so this is Johnny Depp and his wife, or ex-wife, or soon-to-be, going through pretty nasty divorce. Yes, it is a nasty divorce. For those that have not paid attention to this, and I totally understand why you would not, Johnny Depp and his wife, or ex-wife, I guess, at this point, uh, she, Amber Heard is her name. If you haven't seen her before, she's in, um, she's Aquaman. the chicken Aquaman, right? And they met on a movie called The Rum Diaries, which is a, a Hunter S. Thompson book that was turned into a movie, et cetera. Uh, Damien said, just like Miles Garrett gets suspended for hitting Rudolph with his helmet, and Rudolph didn't get a damn thing for attacking Garrett. Anyway, back to Amber Heard. So, Damien, we love you, brother. Amber Heard is, is she alleged for a long time, she leaked it to all these uh, tabloids and everything else, that Johnny Depp is a wife beater and a domestic abuser and et cetera, et cetera. And Johnny Depp never came out and said anything in defense of himself. Nope. And then they released the 911 tapes where she was actually beating the crap out of him. And it, so it, it kind of makes Johnny Depp a little bit of a sympathetic figure, except for the fact that Johnny Depp somehow blew through a $650 million fortune in like three years. And I don't know if it was so that she doesn't get any of the money or like, I don't know what I, I don't know what to make of this entire situation. They're both insane. But now we go to the court proceedings for today. Johnny Depp today claimed he de he decided to divorce Amber Heard after she defecated in their marital bed, quote, as a prank, as he denied hitting her and said that she had abused him throughout their marriage. The Hollywood legend 57 is suing the son, who is a tabloid over in England for labeling him a, quote, wife beater, and today branded those accusations sick and completely untrue at a long-awaited blockbuster libel trial at the High Court in London. But the most sensational revelation from Depp was that he decided to divorce Heard after feces was left in their bed. Uh, while denying attacking Heard, he also launched a blistering attack on her, accusing her of being a calculating, narcissistic sociopath who married him to further her career. Whew! Okay, here's my question. Uh, if Michael said people in Hollywood are effing weird. If, I, I think that would be what I would divorce somebody over. If somebody took a shit in our bed, I think it's pretty much done at that point. Like, people stick yeah. around for a lot of reasons. Yeah. That's one I don't think you can stick around for, even if it's a, a prank. Am I right? No, we're, we're on the same page here. You're talking to a guy who... Admits I know that I am not father of the year ever. Okay. I understand not self-deprecating here, being truthful. I know where my feet stand. I have two children that are both well past potty training, and I might have changed a total of five diapers in their lifetime. Good lord. <laughs> so I just you're talking to a guy that doesn't doesn't really handle poop stuff well. <laughs> And, uh, and yeah, this would have, this is a guys to go situation. Do you, have you ever dated a girl that would even do that? Like, I can understand if no, you get, if you get drunk no, most enough. Most of the girls that I've been out with are pretty modest people. That's, I've been out with some crazy ones. I've no, never. No, you've definitely been out with some crazy, crazy. <laughs> I've, I've never been out with one that would do this. I don't believe. They, they never have. But this is. A whole next level of insane. Damien said Hollywood needs Jesus, and uh, and Michael said <laughs> oh, no, Jesus fix that. <laughs> Michael said just another reason why celebrities shouldn't sit in their soapbox and lecture us normal folk. Yeah, yeah, that, they're into some weird that, things. That's some. That's I think some crazy to be stuff. that level of a superstar in a art field world, you've got some eccentric personality to begin with. Most certainly. I'm just... I would wonder, because my first initial reaction when I hear something that weird and crazy, like, 
I'm a, and this might be a really bad assumption on me for judging, prejudging people. This is what I'm doing. But I mean, like, what kind of drugs are involved in these people's lives? Oh, it's got to be. Like, you, you know, insane. you know, these are not people who just smoke a little pot and chill, right? No, no, no. This is, there's got to be so much more going no, on these people here. People on hard, hardcore narcotics. Yeah. I, I cannot imagine it, the stuff that would have to go through your brain. Yeah. To get you to do that. Uh, Michael said, sometimes you put up with a lot more crazy stuff if they're hot enough. I'm sure someone no. out there would put up. He said, I'm sure someone out there would put up with bed poop if it was J-Lo. No. I don't, I don't no. think so, man. No. Like, no. <laughs> there's no amount of hot where if there's poop laying around, I'm getting an erection. It just does It's not going to work. No. It doesn't matter. No, because it's not happening. Even if it happens one time, I think it hurts things going forward oh, enough. Oh no, that, forever, forever. Yeah. It's just in my brain, in my mind, forever. Like, don't get me wrong, J Lo is uh, she's pretty smoking, but that's fine. That's fine. Listen, looks ain't everything. But okay. I don't, yeah, I don't know that anybody is that smoking. And Amber Heard herself, it's pretty very pretty attractive. Fantastic. Yeah. Pretty but, terrible person. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that. Depp, Depp got me too like a champ. I mean, Disney took him off all the Pirates of the Caribbean stuff. I was and the that. uh uh the Harry Potter spinoff was 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 considering kicking him off, didn't. And Thank they goodness. were like, We want to see actually what happens here. He never defended himself, always said these aren't true, these aren't true, yeah. but never came out and defended himself. Then we got we got 911 tapes during court proceedings. And 911 tapes don't lie. Yeah. And and you got to hear what actually happened. There was lots of violence, but it was all coming from one direction. You have got that correct. All right. So speaking of these the, people need G they, they Damien's right. They need something. Yeah, they most certainly do. Speaking of domestic abuse, Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> that, was, a bad that was a bad transition. transition. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, Damien. <laughs> Damien said, uh, then these famous people like The Rock and Kanye wonders why we don't vote for them for president. Hey, I'd vote for The Rock. Come on, man. Uh, Michael said, you got enough money. You don't stay in that room, Chris. These people have mansions with a bunch of rooms. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, it don't it matter, man. It's, it's about, now that I know that person is that way, there's no amount of looks that's going to make her appealing to me. Yeah. I because think, now I think I'm just the, turned off forever. When I see that face, it's just, I'm that's done. That's what you're going to think. Don't care. I don't care how slamming your body is. I don't care how beautiful you are. You're, you're now ugly the rest of your life because I know you're nasty, and I can't handle nasty. That's a, Jose jumps in and said nobody was crazier than Ozzy Osbourne. Look, here's here's the fact of the oh, matter. It does no. not matter uh, how hot you are. If you leave a steamer in the bed, that's all I'm going to know you as going forward. That's it. That's that's it. That's the bottom that's line. It. That is that is a defining moment in your life, and that that defining moment is shit. 